What's going on, my people? Welcome back to the Lift Capital YouTube channel, where life is for the taking. It is the host, the man, the maestro, the hombre. He is back. Ted Talk Money, how's everybody doing, y'all? Yo, I am really, really excited that everyone is coming on back, guys. I mean, the growth to this channel is, again, it's motivating. I really appreciate everything you guys are doing. And look, the reason that we keep on coming, coming back is so you guys can know about opportunity, so you guys can know that this crypto space is going somewhere, so you guys can know that there is hope when you come back to this channel, okay? And that's all we want to do is make sure you guys have something to look forward to and to move forward with, okay? So I'm going to get into it today. So I'm going to go over uh, a, a really good token, okay? This is in the top 100. It's called Basic Attention Token, BAT, B-A-T, BAT. We're going to review BAT today. All right. Um, as you guys knew in the in the title already, I'm sure you may you might you may or may not have an idea of what Bat is. Bat has been around for quite a while. We'll look at an all time chart here. It's been around since around 2017. Okay, and it started at 16 cents. All right. So this has been in the space for quite a while. I mean, since we've arrived back in this area, we've known about it. Okay. But a little bit of an overview, this is a really good coin that at the end of this video, I hope you guys will actually have an opportunity to download the browser that goes with this token. But from here, let's just go with the basic tokenomics and what we like to go over here, Lift Capital. So as you guys know, we're all, we, we have a problem with uh, generation two blockchain, generation one blockchain. We are not about proof of work here. We're not even about proof of stake all the way around. We're about uh, generation three DLTs. It doesn't even have to be a blockchain. So when we review coins here, we want to make sure that it's not just on the Ethereum network. Got me? So this bat, this bat token has already um, contracts on other chains. So that is a good sign. As well, we see here we have a total supply of 1.5 billion tokens while one point pretty much all of them are already in circulation 99 percent of them are already in circulation so that's a really good sign so from here you already have your price price analysis is 72 cents of course here at light at lift capital we don't we don't we don't chase after green candles guys not on green days so when you see this and it's settled down right now it's trying to do a little bit of a pump it looks like so let this consolidate but let's get into a little bit more of the information of what it is. So BAT is making crypto and DeFi accessible and usable for everyone. As you guys know, with a lot of our reviews, we review coins that allow for more interoperability, borderless, allowing everyone to be involved and as well a part of the ecosystem. Really exciting stuff. So BAT has, been, has seen stunning results since its integration into the Brave browser's first global private ad platform. We'll talk more about Brave, okay? Brave. So uh, there are 30 million monthly active users, 10 million daily active users, a million verified creators that accept BAT. So what is it used for? Crypto and DeFi are hard to use, and the $330 billion digital advertising industry is failing users, publishers, and advisors, and, and excuse me, advertisers. With basic attention token and Brave, we want to take crypto to the next 1 billion users and solve the endemic inefficiencies and privacy violations hobbling the digital ad industry. So what that is... In, in, in a nutshell, and why I'm reviewing this with you, is because this is an interrupter in the digital ad industry, okay? This is going to allow people who are publishing content, um, advertisers, all of those people, even users, they will be able to get paid for doing all of these things, and it'll be in bat, okay? So, I'll, again, that's just a little basic overview of it, but here it is. So, how they're bringing DeFi to the bat ecosystem, you have the Brave Wallet, which we'll talk a little bit more about that. That allows you to um, have NFT support. You could buy cryptos. You can manage your fiat and all of that stuff on your browser, mind you. Okay, so a little bit. I have to take a little bit of time. So we're, we're discussing Web3 right now. Web3 is a completely decentralized web or uh, internet. For example, like we're saying here, with your wallet, it's already on the internet. Your your cryptos are already going to be able to be used in different ecosystems and uh, different tokens and coins, but the wallet will already be there. So what I was saying is with we're talking about a decentralized web. Bat, Bat has utility for search engines. You can use Bat with e-commerce. 
uh, you, the uh, rewards for your uh, your content. And then they're going to include a decentralized exchange or a DEX onto it as well. So we'll talk a little bit more about that. Um, this is the ecosystem. Of course, you have the uh, the creators that create content, the users uh, that are going to uh, be a part of the ecosystem. And then, of course, you have advertisers that are there. So they're all working together, uh, contributing back and getting bat, receiving it, and that continues to keep the ecosystem going. A few of the stats here, we'll talk a little bit more about the growth, um, but yeah, so these are some of the advertisers as well. Our private ad network is the first of its kind. So again, I'll leave a link in the uh, description for all of these, but we're gonna go a little bit more in depth about the growth. So as of right now, this was updated this morning. As of right now, it looks like there are 7.8 million bat wallets 3.45 million transactions, okay? On the daily, there's 13.4 million users. And on the monthly, 38.9, about 39 million um, active users. That's up 7% in the past month. So there is growth that is going on here. They have over a million verified creators on, on these platforms, as you can see here. 674,820 on YouTube. Um, as you can see, YouTube seems to be the biggest, the biggest grower by channel, and that's good. But you're going to see these other ones coming up as well. So, as you can see, again, this is for the digital ad, um, the digital ad space. As you have more people that are continuing to create content, and more people that are going to be on the internet more and more, they're allowing it to be decentralized. No longer is it that your your content is only going to be controlled on YouTube or a certain platform. Now you're going to be able to get paid for it instantly and other people can get even paid for watching your stuff through advertisers. So it's really good. Uh, a few more metrics here. Um, like we said, it's, it's, it's over a billion dollar uh, market cap. And like we said, the uh, total supply was one point uh, five billion. So as of right now, I will say this about the uh, about the price. We had an all time high already. Um, back in April, looks like at a dollar fifty-two. So even looking at it right here, it still has room to grow already. I would say look for it to consolidate a little bit more. But uh, let's take a little look at the team. So this person here, Brendan Ike, um, he's the founder and CEO. But look at look at some of the things he's done. He was the creator of JavaScript. If you guys are familiar, that's a huge development tool that's being used right now. Mozilla, Firefox. Those are also uh, browsers that are used. So this, this guy knows how to operate this kind of thing. He knows uh, all about browsers. He knows about advertising and publishing. So that's a really good sign. So here's a little bit about Brave. So as we said, that is going to be used to reward and all of those things. But what's up with this Brave browser? So as you guys have been seeing throughout it, download Brave, download Brave. So they have different... Um, uh, options here that you can download Brave, but what's it all about? The new Brave browser blocks ads, trackers, and slow that slow you down and invade your privacy. Discover a new way of thinking about how the web can work. Guys, literally right now, I am on the Brave browser, okay? I do all of my work on the Brave browser. Why? Because one, like they said, it gives me privacy, okay? It gives me privacy. They're always blocking ads. They're always blocking trackers. Two, I'm getting paid for being on the internet. This this browser allows you to get paid in bat for just browsing, okay? And you can also tip people, you can give. That's the thing about being a verified user on YouTube with bat is because that means uh, audience, your audience members, your subscribers, they can pay you in bat. And just a heads up, we're gonna get more and more into that to where you have tip jars and tipping. Um, even on Twitter, you can even tip on Twitter, so we're getting into more of a, a fast uh, fast gig economy kind of, but it's gonna be digital, so I'm excited for the future, guys, as you can tell. Um, so a few of the things here, some of the benefits, you could browse five, uh, three times faster, blocking those ad trackers, you get rewarded for browsing, those are the things I was just saying. You know, so uh, you can also get it for your mobile. So, guys, I would definitely recommend downloading Brave. It is a really good thing. I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can get to that. So, what are the good things about Brave Search? Um, I'll just touch over this quickly. So, this is uh, like we said, the word this is decentral the decentralized web. So, Brave Search doesn't track your queries ever. It's private, independent, transparent. Okay, you can search without a trace. Private searching is user first. Okay, and I'll check this out. This is a video I wanted to show y'all. Look at this. 
Everything you search, everything you search, every page you visit, every page you visit big tech is watching. But enough is enough. It's time for real choice. Introducing Brave Search. Brave doesn't track you, your searches, or your clicks. When you use Brave Search inside of the Brave browser, you get all-in-one protection. It's the first independent, 100% private alternative to Google Search and Chrome. So join the movement, switch to Brave Search beta, and search without a trace. Yeah, guys, it's, it's all the way there, all the way live. Again, when you search anything on Google, you're going to be getting tracked. Everything that you're doing on the internet is being tracked because it's on a centralized browser. But if you move over to something that is more decentralized, and that's where we're going, to something more neutral, something more private, that's where we're moving to. So you have independent searches. It's real transparency, and it's comprehensive privacy. As in you can, from there, guys, it's, this browser is so easy to use, okay? Um, you can set up your wallet. You can set up everything, and it's easy. So if you uh, if you guys are familiar, there are other uh, uh, privacy blockers out there. For example, you have DuckDuckGo, Google, and then Brave. Look at how Brave stacks up against one Google. You guys already know there's it's not private. It, there's nothing um, integrated in there, and it's not transparent. Google uses its own independent search index. So I mean that's nice, but with DuckDuckGo, it's good for your fully private anonymous searches, but it depends on Bing. So yeah, Brave does all these things. It's private, integrates a, a private browser onto your mobile, transparent um, with the search results, uses an independent search index, its own index. So that's all good in the hood. I'll leave a link for that as well. Some of the privacy features I was talking about uh, with Brave. Again, I'm just going over Brave because I want you guys to uh, see that it's not just about centralized web, okay? We're moving into a future to where people are getting paid to be on the internet, period. Why? Because that's what these tokens are allowing to happen, all right? Everyone is griping about there's nobody to work, nobody for the economy, nobody for the workforce, but the reason why is because these innovative technologies are calling more and more people into a decentralized future, and it's becoming more and more expanded every day. These worlds are growing astonishingly every single day and the money is flowing in so uh, a little bit our goal at brave is to build a browser that allows you to browse the web without giving up your privacy or needing to install additional tools putting you in charge of your data we are also building new tools excuse me to fund the web and including privacy respecting ways you can support the site and creators you visit so um this, again, this is really cool. Only Brave blocks all the ads and trackers by, by default, blocking all third-party storage, all this. It really, it really is secure, guys. So I'll leave a link for that for y'all. Now, this is the really exciting part. Um, Brave Rewards. So like I said, for my... Um, here, I'll, I'll show you guys this one. Check this out. Brave Rewards is a system, Brave Rewards is a system that allows you to get rewarded for viewing privacy-respecting ads and pay it forward to support content creators you love. Brave Rewards is comprised of three components. Auto-contribute, which allows you to make automatic monthly contributions to your most visited sites. Tips, which lets you send on-the-spot bat tips to your favorite publishers and creators. And now, ads, where opting in will allow you to see privately matched ads and be rewarded for your attention in bat tokens. With Brave Ads, your browsing activity never leaves your device. Local machine learning provides all the necessary information needed to serve personalized, highly relevant ads. To opt into Brave Rewards, simply click the Brave Rewards button or BAT logo in the right of the URL bar and follow along to get started. If you're already using Brave Rewards in a dev or beta release, you may need to enable ads separately in rewards settings. Here, there are counters to keep track of estimated earnings for the current month and for the total number of ad notifications received. These counters will increase for each ad shown. The payment date, also displayed here, is the date on which your rewards can be claimed via the button that will appear. You'll receive your rewards in the form of Basic Attention Token or BAT. BAT is a new way to value attention among users, content creators, and advertisers. Once your bat has been claimed, it can be used to support your favorite publishers and content creators on the web. In the future, you'll be able to use your bat to gain access to premium content, subscriptions, and more. We'll also soon provide an option to transfer your bat out of the built-in Brave Rewards wallet. Beneath the main toggle is a button to access ad settings. Here, you can select the maximum number of ads displayed per hour, with one being the least and five being the most within a 60-minute session. We'll be introducing even more customization options in the future. Now, you can browse as you normally do, and ads will appear as your browser finds relevant offers to display. For macOS users, ads will look like this. For PC users, 
For PC users, ads will appear looking like this. Start contributing to a braver, Start contributing to a braver web today. Awesome stuff, y'all. So yeah, like I said, guys, you can get paid for just being on the internet. It is so amazing. It's really cool. So yeah, you can fund your wallet with uh, the currency of choice. Um, earn to own to earn tokens by viewing ads you're in control of. Like I was saying, guys. So Brave Awards is definitely the place uh, to be <laughs> when it comes down to being on the internet. Okay, and this was the last one here. They are, were introduced. This is really quick. Uh, called Brave Playlist. Take your favorite content with you anywhere. So as you can see there, they're pre preparing you guys, preparing you to have any media, any stream. They want everything to run through them, okay? So yeah, again, I'll leave a link for this as well. If you liked everything here, check out their uh, Twitter, you know. Uh, I'm going to wrap this one on up, though. Again, if you liked everything here, hit that like and subscribe. I appreciate everybody making it to this part of the video. Look, guys, you can get that um, just about anywhere that's been around for a while. Like I said, you can get this even on Coinbase. So, yeah, again, just to go over this again, this is the digital advertising sectors disruptor guys okay i'm talking about for uh content creators publishers advertisers they want to get their hands on some bat you want to if any advertisers that are listening to me right now get your ads over to bat because i'm telling you now early early get it in early right now you only have a million verified creators that's a small number in comparison to the whole ecosystem in itself. So again, guys, we're still really early with this, but like we've like we've done, we've reviewed the um, the team here, so it's all good. But guys, um, continue to uh, rock with us, man. Head over to Twitter, follow us, uh, check out our merch site. I'll leave a link for that in the description, and and as well, check us out on Instagram. But all right, y'all, I'm gonna holla at y'all tomorrow. Peace.